I'm Dr. Michelle Jorgensen at Total Care Dental and Wellness, and today I want to talk to you about regrowing teeth. Now, this is a huge controversy in dentistry because most dentists will tell you you can't do it. Well, they're not entirely right and they're not entirely wrong. It bases entirely on what part of the tooth has the problem. The outside layer of the tooth is called enamel and it's filled with minerals. Those minerals are built into crystals. Now, when a cavity starts, what happens is usually bacteria in your mouth get fed sugar. As they eat the sugar, they actually create acid. That acid hits the tooth and it dissolves the enamel or the minerals in that enamel. So we call that demineralization, meaning taking minerals out of those crystals. As long as that demineralization has stayed in the enamel, hasn't gotten very deep, you absolutely can remineralize that area back by adding minerals to the tooth. There's a few ways you can do that. Um, one of the easiest ways is with an herb called horsetail. It has a lot of silica in it and you can take that and it will help you to strengthen your teeth back. It's kind of cool. Another thing you can use are cell salts. They're homeopathic cell salts and they can be used in children and pregnant women and everyone. Um, the ones I like are called calc foss and calc floor. Those two can be taken every single day and they give your body the information it needs to rebuild those teeth. Another product I like is Dr. Christopher's Complete Tissue and Bone. It also has horsetail on it. That's one of the reasons it works so well. So those are three things that you can do if that cavity is still in the outside enamel layer. Now, once the cavity has gone into the dentin layer, that's when the trouble begins because that dentin is full of little nutrient channels. So the bacteria that have invaded into the tooth are now sent throughout the tooth and the cavity grows quite quickly. So once the cavity is deep into the dentin layer, oftentimes that infected tooth needs to be cleaned out and that all needs to be removed so that it can be refilled. If it's still just surface in the dentin, sometimes it can be remineralized there as well, but it still will probably have a defect, meaning there will be a hole or an area where that tooth has been affected. Now, do you need to have that filled back in again with some kind of a filling? Not necessarily if that tooth really has healed and has been remineralized, but the problem is, is it's an area that's susceptible to have problems in the future. So I do recommend that we do remineralize those areas, but also fill them as well so that they're not susceptible to further problems in the future. So can you regrow your teeth? The answer is absolutely. It just depends on how much needs to be regrown. So that's maybe something that you need to discuss with a dentist. How big is this cavity? How deep has it gotten? Baby teeth are particularly hard for this because they're so little and the, the dentin layer in particular is so thin. Once the cavity's gotten into the dentin, it quickly moves on to the nerve. So you really can't mess around with baby teeth very long, otherwise they're gonna become infected quite quickly. And there's a lot of other information you can learn, but that'll give you at least a quick idea on how to differentiate whether this tooth in you is something that can be healed.